So you go and do Boomerang, and uh, you know there's a few more movies in between there. I mean, there's Vampire in Brooklyn. There's, That's my uh, favorite movie. Oh, really? Yeah, it was one of my favorites. Wes Craven was the director. Right. Oh man, he says, "Why don't you read the script one day?" <laughs> he said, "You always ad lib, but you should read the script." Oh, no, I'm sorry. Well, Vampire in Brooklyn came right around the same time. Yeah. But in 1995, Friday. Yeah, we did Friday. We, Which you was know, your most famous role, you think, Friday? Um, yeah, kids, you know, college kids fell, in, fell into that Friday mode, and they love Friday. Even today, they love Friday. They love Friday. Well, I guess when, when the, the movie was coming together, the, the movie cost $2 million. $2 million. We got paid $5,000 a piece to do that movie. Right. And I guess Ice Cube was going to put up the money himself. Right. But New Line Cinema talked him out of they it. They said, look, ain't no sense you losing $2 million. If the movie bomb, we didn't take the hit. The movie grow $300 million. He could have gotten all and, that. And they're not going to come back and say, we made a, look, we made a lot of money. going to give you all the bonus. That ain't some bullshit. That don't happen in Hollywood. Okay. So you made $5,000. Five grand. Everybody else on the show, they're going to say they made more money. Ain't nobody made no money on that movie. Okay. 5,000. Did Chris Tucker do, do about the same, you think? About the same thing. About the same, yeah. Did Ice Cube have, but I mean, Ice Cube had some sort of ownership, so he had royalties. Well, he, had, he, had, he had ownership. He and DJ Pooh wrote DJ the movie. Poo, he yeah. used his production company, Cube Vision, Cube I think Vision, it is. Yeah. Okay. So he going to get more money. Um, then you get more money when you do the second one. Okay. He well, did the second one. When you guys put together Friday... And I guess the whole thing was shot in 20 days, which is nothing. Yeah, everything shot in 20 days. Do you have any idea what you had on your hands? No, they didn't know. No. I had to pay my rent. I didn't give a damn what it was. <laughs> it was $5,000. I had five grand. I had to pay my rent. That rent, $130 some dollars. I paid about. I paid about three. See, I used to pay my rent six months ahead. Okay. So I, if, I, if I'm broke, I still can have a place to go home and sleep. That's what I used to do when I first started. Six months ahead. It wasn't but what? <laughs> Wasn't but about a thousand dollars. The rent was so low then. Well, I mean, this movie is in most people's top fives. Oh, like, they love it. That's like, amazing. It's, it's, we ad lib. We ad lib. I think I've watched that movie more than any other movie, honestly. But it, it, we ad lib all these comics. You got all these comics working. You got Chris Tucker. You got me. You got well, the first Friday. You what? Cat Williams wasn't there. No. Mike Epps wasn't there. Uh, but uh, you still tiny, tiny, uh, tiny, funny tiny man. Lister was there. Um, we funny ad line. We had uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, the, 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 the the crackhead. Uh, was it AJ? Uh, AJ AJ Jamal. That's his name, right? AJ Johnson. AJ Johnson. AJ Johnson. Yeah. Johnson. Yeah. He's funny. <laughs> no, I mean the whole thing. Uh, your wife. Yeah, uh, Regina Hall, yeah. Yeah, Regina, the daughter, Regina King, Regina King. Yeah, sorry, right. Regina King. My bad. Um, all those people were in there. All of them ad libbed, and we had and, they, and Ice Cube's script was easy to, to to embellish on. He had a great script. He and DJ Pool, and uh, oh, we, oh, 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 we had macaroni. <laughs> all that stuff is stuff we, we created when I'm right there at the. We on the scene and we start ad libbing stuff. Okay. And if they if they don't like it, they tell you, okay, cut it out. Don't say that. Say you can say this, and we do it three times different. You do this, this one time, this way, this way, this way, this way, and that's how we got. They pick out what they like the best. So what happened with Chris Tucker and his involvement in Friday? He, got, he making big he, with Jackie Chan with that rush hour, making twenty million. So I wouldn't go back to Friday either. So that was it. It was just a money thing. Oh, it's all about money. Oh, no. But, but obviously, he would have gotten him. You know, it's not like he's going to get 5000 to do next Friday. I mean, no, at this no, point, no. he's a I superstar. I got 400000 For the second one? Yeah. Okay. So he would have gotten probably even more. He probably got more, yeah. But it wasn't But enough. it wasn't no 20000 20 million. 20 million. Okay. So, so you're going to do it. You're going to get a three picture deal for $20 million each. I would have been right there with him. Right. Because he did Money Talks afterwards also, before the Jackie Chan movies, before Russia. Money Talks, that's another movie he did, right? Yeah. yeah he, 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 he probably got big butts on that. With Charlie Sheen. Yeah, he got big bus on that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so at that point, he was just making so much money, he didn't He ain't going to go back to no Friday. Plus, he got religious, and they said, you know, in his, they don't smoke weed. They don't want kids smoking weed, see? So he said they smoking weed, and, he, and, and, the, and the preachers got to him and say, you can't, um, you can't be in a movie where they smoking weed and stuff. Now weed is, is legal. Yeah. Now you want to go back. 
<laughs> but, but now he got another job with Jackie Chan again. Okay, so is he coming back and doing another Friday? I don't think they come back. I don't know. Are you doing another Friday? If they do it, I would. You know, because okay. I talked to Cube and he talked to Warner Brothers and said they're going to do it. They were, they, they're up for it. Yeah? I yeah, feel they want to do it. So I don't know. I do, I'll be there because I need that paper. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. And, and all the fans want it too. The fans want it. I get, so, right. I get so sick of this on the road, boy. <laughs> they, y'all, you're going to do another Friday. An airport, <laughs> oh my God. Well, you know, because I've watched all the Fridays, but yeah. I don't think any of them had the magic of the first one. Yeah, the first one was, um, well, the first one, when I, well, the second one, they should never move out the neighborhood, stayed in yeah. the neighborhood. Yeah, right yeah it should have been the same neighborhood. Doing, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, man, well, I'm hoping another Friday with Chris Tucker. Oh, I hope it happens week. also. Yeah. You know, what, what is amazing about it, I'm going to tell you the reason, they're not going to make another uh, the fourth Friday, which is going to be called last Friday. They're not going to make one. Right. Uh, for $2 million. So, right. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That ain't going to happen. Because everybody is not broke. We're not young. We're not this and that. They're not young, and they're not going to be doing, I don't need to pay my rent. I got mortgages now. Yep. So I don't need all that, you know. And Friday wasn't the only thing that helped me. I worked on, I got other job. I had a job before Friday, and I have a job after Friday. Mm-hmm. But I love doing Friday because people love that movie. Oh, man. Well, people have parties on Friday and put on Friday.